So in this last one, we want to know what is the mass of a ball that is moving at 13 meters per second and has a kinetic energy of 119 joules. So similar to the last two problems, it's going to be the same steps we're going to follow. Step one is to establish our variables. So let's do that. We're going to have a velocity and a kinetic energy. So velocity and kinetic energy. And what are the values for them? Well, the velocity is 13 meters per second. And the kinetic energy is at 119 joules. So 13 meters per second at 119 joules. And then our unknown, what is the mass? Well, that's our unknown. Mass is unknown. So now step two is going to be to pick an equation that we're going to use. So looking at, looking at our three variables here, we know an equation, and that is that the kinetic energy is equal to one half uh, times mv squared. So this is going to be an equation we're going to use moving forward. Brings us to step three, which is we're going to plug in our variables into this equation. So step three, plug in variables. All right, so let me start by rewriting this equation. Ek is equal to one half, one half m v squared. Now we want to re um, plug in each one of these variables. So Ek, well that's 119 joules. It's equal to one half. M is 13 meters per second. Uh, sorry, my apologies. M is our unknown. And V is our 13 meters per second, and that's squared. All right. So we've got we've got our all our variables plugged in, and we have just one unknown. So that brings us to the next step. Step four is to isolate our unknown. Isolate unknown. So in this equation, our unknown is m, and we want it to be isolated on one side of the equal sign. So the first thing I want to do is multiply this out. 1 half m, and then our 13 meters per second squared, that's going to give us 169 meters squared per second squared. And following this, I'm going to rewrite and multiply these two terms together. So we'll have the m times 84.5 meters squared per second squared. So we've multiplied these two terms together. Now all we have to do is bring this term to the other side of the equation and we've isolated m. So whereas this is a multiplication on the right side, it's gonna become a division on the left-hand side. Oops. So uh, let's write this out. Over 84.5 meters squared per second squared is equal to equal to m. Now when we put this in our calculator, it's going to give us an answer 1.4083 and the units for joules are kilogram meter squared per second squared and then these units here when we're dividing by meters squared per second squared, it's the same as multiplying the reciprocal. So it's the same as multiplying 
uh, multiplying uh, multiplying the second squared over meters squared. It's going to be the same the same thing. So we're writing out our units like this, and then we can see what cancels out. So our meters squared cancels out, our second squared cancels out. All we're left with is kilograms. And that's okay because we want a mass. So that gives us our final answer. Mass is equal to 1.4. And I'm doing two significant digits because that's all we're given in the question. So 1.4 kilograms. And that is the final answer.